many in America are aware of the classic beloved character of Mr. Haney, immortalized in the television series Green Acres. Far too few are aware of the brilliant work of the late Professor Chester Featherstone, University of New Hampshire, who devoted his career to studying the countless sides of Mr. Haney. Indeed, today it's impossible to have a serious discussion of Mr. Haney in any field of critical studies without paying homage in some way to the work of Professor Featherstone, who probably got there first. Featherstone was a beloved figure at the University of New Hampshire. He saw in Mr. Haney not just a charming television character. Featherstone appreciated Haney as the richly complex and multidimensional representation of American society itself. In a 50-year career, Featherstone unveiled hidden sides of Haney's character, unveiling the mad salesman of Hooterville through groundbreaking research. There was always a new book, a new essay, a new 3 a.m. phone call in which Featherstone explained his next insight. After a fellowship at Oxford, he was the first to publish an extensive analysis of Mr. Haney as the trickster archetype. In this seminal book, The Haney Enigma, A Critical Analysis, Featherstone explores this across the centuries as he traces the history of the trickster figure from ancient mythology to modern pop culture, but with Haney as its highest development. This was a bold theory and opened up new vistas in critical sitcom studies. Featherstone's exploration of Mr. Haney wasn't limited to just what we saw on the TV screen. In a revolutionary paper, beyond the screen, digging deeper into Mr. Haney's persona, he crafted a meticulous backstory for Haney. He touched upon Haney's humble beginnings, his struggles with body image, his turbulent relationships with women, and his tortured father relationship due to Haney's failure at sports. But Haney inspires. Haney overcame mountains of inadequacies and insecurities to show a sense of rock-solid self-confidence which came through every single time we saw him on screen. One of the most enduring aspects of Featherstone's analysis centered around Haney's use of strategic incompetence. As opposed to the more common hopeless incompetence, a strategic incompetence is the art of appearing like you've only got half a deck. Featherstone showed us that it is impossible to imagine this side of Lieutenant Columbo except in the shadow of Haney. Sadly, Featherstone's work took its personal toll. Although biographers find no proof the two men ever met, Featherstone began to display traits uncannily similar to Haney. A man who had been the picture of academic rigor Featherstone was overcome by Haney's flamboyant style, making grandiose claims about his research findings. Even in winter, Featherstone would accost campus visitors, waving his books and demanding outrageous prices. Featherstone was ushered into early retirement with the encouragement of his family, his faculty colleagues, and some of the best psychiatrists in New England. Featherstone is gone, but not forgotten. His pioneering work forever shifted our understanding of television characters like Mr. Haney. We can never forget that beneath the humorous veneer of sitcoms and animated series, there are deep reflections of our society and insights into our own nature. We end our tribute to Featherstone with a line from his own book. In every jest, there lies a truth, and in every Haney, a lesson for others. Supported by the Haney Society of South Carolina and the Ava Gabor Trust. <laughs>